know, I've been talking about uh, the white stream media and how they control or at least try to control the narrative on uh, a lot of the uh, news that goes on, including news of people of color. And it just dawned on me. How come people of color I don't know, I'm talking about black African Americans here. We got all these prominent people who are out here, um, you know, entertainers, lawyers, uh, sports, all of that. And no black media, no strong black media to represent them. And I ain't talking about BET or Bossip, you know. I'm talking about uh, actual black media ran, produced, and owned by African Americans. This is DJ Wolf Live. You know, we've made a lot of strides as African Americans over the years. One of the things that I don't understand after all these years is us being African Americans and we don't own our own Media. I ain't talking about BET now. BET was in part owned by uh, Robert Johnson. Okay? Part ownership. Just like Oprah. Oprah is part ownership of own. She never even owned 75% of own. She only owned 50% and then she sold half of it. Uh, about a year ago. I'm still like... You have all these great shows on here under your company, or under your production company name, and yet, and yet, you only own fifty percent of the stock. What's up with that bullshit? For real, fifty percent. That's all the hell you own. Fifty fucking percent of your own stock of own. That in itself don't make any sense. Real talking don't make any sense. You know, but yet it's called own. Now you only own twenty five percent of the stock, which means in a few years it will be overtaken. And, and matter of fact, that's the rumor I heard. I heard about two thousand, uh, uh, is it two thousand twenty two or two thousand twenty something like that? She's going to be out of uh, out of the TV business anyway. That's her her plan. She she's not going to be doing much longer anyway. That's what I heard. She's going to sell the remaining twenty five percent. So, but that's a damn shame, though, man. The one time we really get, you know, and all her her was about was getting the butter business. You know, I heard somebody on, on uh, YouTube just a couple of days ago talking about, you know, being an owner of an ownership and handing it down to your kids uh, through a, uh, uh, I forgot what the proxy was, so some kind of proxy where you are, but it, it would be through like an inheritance, but it would be a special inheritance where you could. You know, uh, it will be stipulations in it. Oprah never even talked about doing that. You know, it, 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 I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. You would think she'd be glad to sell if you know she was going to get out of it, sell at least twenty five percent to a black media company or an upstart black media company that'd be willing to buy. 25% and buy the remaining 25% from her later on. But no, she's going to cash out. She's going to completely cash out and get out of it all together. Because that was her main goal anyway. You know, that's that's her retirement. I can't really say I'm mad at her, but then again, I'm like, you know what? When it comes to uh, investing in black businesses and helping out black pe people in black businesses, Oprah ain't exactly on, 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 on you're not exactly on top of Oprah's list no just ask Ice Cube who wasn't invited which is which I still think was one of the dumbest things Oprah ever did this was one of the reasons I don't like Oprah personally she invited the entire cast of uh, Barbershop to her show for an interview, everybody by Ice Cube, and Ice Cube is the one who created the damn movie, and his production company Cube Cube Vision was behind it. 
yet you don't invite him. And even he questioned that. I mean, that, to me, that's something really was stupid about that. And I took that to major offense. She did the same thing with 50 Cent with his movie, Get Rich or Die Crying. You know, she did not want uh, to associate herself with people of that kind of association. Well, why the fuck would you bother interview any of the people from the movies if that's the case? How wide of you? You know? This is the reason why we have problems building. Now, Oprah, mind you, is one of the richest women on the planet. She is considered the richest woman on the planet. Period. And yet, for her to be the richest woman on the planet, you would think that she would get behind trying to start an independent black uh, media and news entertainment company on her own. Not through Discovery, not through BET, or anybody else. You know, I'm talking about company, not production. I'm talking about like a, a, a media a conglomerate. But no, she wouldn't do that. You know. I mean, if you do that and you retire, I can't get mad at you. But if you submit cashing in completely and then getting out of it and then not, you know, you know, trying to build it for, uh, you know, to build uh, like a black media. And I ain't talking about no, like, no uh, BET or TV one. Not, not completely. Or at least, but I am talking about the way BET used to be when it came to some of their original program. Like Tavis Smiley and uh, Teen Summit. Those kind of shows. I would love to see a, 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 a a network that will provide that kind of uh, program. Considering uh, Teen Summit, and I had to say, in time, Smiley was two of the best shows at the time. Two of the best shows that BET ever put out. And that's beyond question. They were, they really were. They really were. Used to watch them all the time. By the time I was watching Teen Summit, I was—I mean, I think I—I I think I started watching Teen Summit like in the late '80s. By then, I was already in my early 20s, but I was wasn't that much far removed from being a teenager at the time. Just maybe about a number of years. But still, it was a great show. They had great guests on there. They talked about a lot of hard hitting issues, and I think that kind of programming is needed uh, for our youth man because you got all this other stuff that's out here and, and guess what they're trying to emulate need I say more you know but you do need a network kind of like what BET used to be about not the garbage is out now hmm. the garbage is out now we're not condoning it at all but I think that's what's sorely missing because and what's missing is the fact that our stories, both good, not so good, and the truth about a lot of things that happen in our communities are never being reported, actually or factually, from the white stream media. Never is. Never have been. You know, when you when you get reports from... Uh, all the cable news networks and stuff and then uh, uh, tele regular television networks, you don't get the full story on a lot of stuff that happens in our community. You never do. That's facts. You never get the full story. And, so, and many times you don't get the full story from the local media either. You know? Um, I'm trying to think of a case in point. There was one case in point about the shooting that happened at, at, uh, at a police department out in Prince George's County out here. Um, there was an officer that got killed. He was, I think he was, uh, he was a plain clothes. I don't know if he was on duty or off duty. I think, I don't remember that, that part. But he was hit by friendly fire. Of course, the media reported, no, it was the suspect that did it. No, the suspect was involved. They were after the suspect. But, Inadvertently, they thought that the officer who was in plain clothes at the time was one of the suspects. And he was shot by one of his own cops. 
but they're gonna charge they're gonna charge the guy who they were after for that guy's murder yeah which I'm thinking now I'm kind of I think that's a little bit on the suspect side you know but that's a prime example of it the media has not brought that up you know they talked about it but not completely you know but there are a lot of things I hear from the media all the time that's very very suspect about a lot of issues where the fuck am I going man where the fuck am I going I'm going here bitch you wanna go go straight goofy ass motherfucker I'm sitting right here you see me where the fuck I'm trying to go damn these people are retarded right here I can only go but one damn way. I can't go unless they move. Damn, people. Come on around. You want to go, go. But I, I got to get to where I need to go. It's like you got to get to where you need to go. You know. I want to talk more about the other subject I talked about, about the arrogance of people out here in this world, man. People just do goofy stuff and don't give a damn about how they do it. You know, that's another thing I'm talking about. But I, this, this mess is crazy out here. We are world that people just 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 do stuff just for the hell of it. But um, back to the thing at hand, though. It surprises me in 2018 that the one meeting that we thought was going to be about the business of telling our stories, or at least the two anyway, aren't really telling our stories. You know. There's a, a third and fourth channels out here now. Black channel. Uh, Aspire is one, and the other one was Bounce TV. I think it's now escaped. They keep changing the damn name. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's uh, another whole story, another whole issue. And uh, Bounce TV, all this show was black program. Some original, some old, and some not bad. But then Aspire, they do a lot of original stuff too. But here's my my problem with all these channels that, that the black channels that's out there. We don't have the you know <laughs> there aren't we we don't have the kind of media that we really need outside of that. All of those channels do the same thing. They show movies and TV shows. Yeah, we see a lot of that. There's nothing wrong with that. But we need channels that actually, you know, like something like a CNN, you know, something like, a, well, a lot of guys and gals are doing on YouTube. We need a lot of that, too. We don't have enough of that. You know, not, I mean, you know, some of the stuff that I'm talking about, because the channels I actually usually watch that talk about real issues, that address about real issues. We don't have channels like that. On, 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 on regular television, you know, and in lies the problem right there. It's part of the reason why I created for all to hear and for all to hear TV and DJ Wolf Live, you know, because I know there was a void. I, 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 I DJ Wolf actually was. My creation uh, from, and there's no joke, about a year or two after Arsenio Hall was uh, taken off the air. Um, I had proposed to do it on uh, uh, for cable for uh, access television, access uh, cable out here in PG County. I never pushed it through. I used to see a lot of junk on access cable, on you know, um, on access channels all the time. Yeah. You know, I had a little bit of all, uh, you know, a little bit of, of the comedic stuff, and I had a little bit of the serious stuff on mine, and the, uh, the demos that I, that I produced. But the reality of it was, I didn't have the production values that I had. I didn't have the resources I wanted to have to do what I wanted to do at the time. So that's what caused all that. But um, at some point. Thank goodness and thank God for YouTube, man. That I'm doing all of this stuff on here. Everything I wanted to do. You know. And a lot quicker, too. 
maybe this was the right time. But maybe this is also the right time for people who can, who have the opportunity to put a black stream media uh, conglomerate network together should be doing it. And I ain't talking about the one that just does movies and shows like that and plays. I'm talking about one that does straight out news and documentaries and specials and investigations. Those kind of news. The news that we see where everybody else is doing on us that never get the whole story and perpet perpetually perpetually tell half truths about any damn way, which is like uh, the CNNs and Foxes and MSNBCs of the world do all the time. And influence a lot of the, uh, uh, the the situations as a result of you know. I was reading something on uh, one of the social oh, on the uh, mainstream media sites about the guy who shot the two uh, black people in Kentucky. They try to say that they were investigating a possible hate crime, and the guy in the on the, in the same story or in the same article was quoted as saying, "Don't shoot me because I'm white like you." What part of a hate crime do you not understand that it was? And he shot those black people multiple times in the back. Prior to that, was going to go to a black church and do the same thing. What part of a hate crime do you not understand it was? That's exactly what it is. You know. And then the same token try to, to give you a a, a, a a profile or a watered down profile of, of, of the of the shooter, as though he was such a good guy and he was mentally unstable. Now I'll say this: he may have, may have been mentally unstable because he was racist, but he wasn't that unstable. He didn't know where he was going with it. I'll say that he knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly where he was going with it. And he knew it's all about hating. About self-hate. I mean, not hate, but about hate of other people of color. It was clear cut. But I noticed that the mainstream and the white stream, or the white stream media always try to give you a different perception than what it actually is. They try to tell you, no, it's not him being racist. It's him being mental. Really, motherfuckers? No, it's about him being racist. That's clear as a bell. And y'all know that shit. That's the bad part about it. They know full and damn well that this was all about that guy being a racist fuck. And they know it. But they always tell you that, oh, he's being mental. She's being mental. When it comes to the, to, to the black shooter that, uh, down in uh, Dallas and the other one that was having New, New Orleans, They don't say those guys are mental. You never heard that. These guys are savages. They don't call the two cops who, who beat that, uh, who shot that, put, put, pumped two uh, slugs in his brother's chest in New Orleans for virtually doing nothing. Savages. They don't call them cops savages at all. Those cops walked. They literally walk. Trayvon Martin was a 17-year-old kid. But the media wrote him off as a thug. He, he was the victim. See where I'm going with it? Or see where they're going with it? They try to paint a picture of somebody uh, who they want to be criminalized when he was victimized. But yet, they want the criminal to be painted as a victim. And they run with it. That's the shit that pissed me the fuck off. How you gonna run with somebody being a criminal? I mean, being a victim when he was a criminal. And how you gonna paint a, 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 a victim into a, a criminal and a criminal into a victim. 
You know how? The media and the local and state jurisdictions of Florida. That's how. Oh, yes, I'm saying it. Because it's the fucking truth. It's the truth. It's not a lie. Anytime you have audio evidence of a 911 call placed by the criminal himself, George Zimmerman, talking about the kids black, this motherfucker here, and he doing fucking well the whole damn time that he was not going to stop until he caught him. The 911 operator even told this son of a bitch to stand down. We got him. We're going to look into it. They said, We got him. They said, We're going to look. We're going to look. And that's what they said. They said, We're going to look into the situation. That is what they said. They were going to look into it. You don't have to do that. All right. Now, I actually I heard that with my own two ears. And yet, the one thing that would have got his ass, possibly got his ass locked up was the one thing they would not allow to be played during the trial. They considered it inadmissible. And notice when that happened, the media stopped playing the, video, the audio. There was actually two audios. That was one. The other one was when Trayvon Martin got shot. They allowed that one, but they used that. Uh, the defense used that. The defense used that to... Uh, get uh, George Zimmerman off by trying to say that was, can that have been George Zimmerman's voice? We know fuck well with George Zimmerman's voice. I knew that was a lie the whole time. Yet they said, oh, it was George Zimmerman was, was still screaming. How the fuck he going to do screaming? You hear one shot and all of a sudden the screaming stop. Yeah, and they ran with that. You tell me y'all ain't fucking racist. People are racist as fuck around here, man. The bad part about it, Negroes are too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all were around with that kind of stuff, and some of y'all are, are, are turned on your own people. Yeah. I already know of a situation right now uh, where somebody did just that. And it's the one person who I never expected to do that. That's 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 what the most shocking thing about it was. I never expected that person to do that. I swear to God. I did. And I'm I'm extremely upset about this shit. I never expected him to do that. Not in all my years. All my years though, I just never expected it. And I'm really heated about that. Really good matter of fact, I'm very heated about it. I'm so heated about it. Honestly, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. That's why I'm so upset about it. Um, but it's just a we tend to do do ourselves in many a times over, man. When we don't listen to people. And but we listen to everybody else. We listen to what the media has to say about our situation instead of us being able to tell our own stories about what's really going on. You know? As long as there is a media that exists that don't tell our stories, we'll be the ones left in the dark about everything. And just buy into the hype. This is DJ Wolf. I'm a little upset by it right now about that. And I will continue to do so. Because the shit ain't right no more, man. It's not right. That's pretty much all I got to say about it.